It's new products. Yay! All right, first up, this is a holiday card. Ooh, this is a Chibitronics card from uh, Bunny and Jichi. Uh, this is Chibitronics, their um, electronic uh, paper electronics kit project, I don't know, like, like construction set. Um, and it lets you basically build electronic circuits using stickers and copper tape. And so this is um, their card. And when you open it up, you actually also cut it into an ornament, but it's, it's a card. And then um, there's these circuit stickers here and then a little place to, um, you know, you follow the pattern with copper tape. And then when you put the battery in and you close it, I don't know if you can see the LEDs lit. And then you use a, uh, hold on. One of these star-shaped um, kind of paper clips to make a glowing card. Can you go to the overhead? No, I'll yeah. show it off in detail. That? Yeah, let's do that. So, okay, hold on. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna move this over. I'm going to show this off and lock. Okay, so this is the card, and then I'll turn this off so you can see. Ooh, it's really nice and glowing. You can see it. It's just like the camera doesn't show it off very well if I don't make it dark. And then inside, um, there's a pattern. So you, you use this LED sticker. It's actually a sticker. There's no soldering involved. And then um, this clip to keep the battery in place. And these are just like really adorable little cards. And there's um, a frame version. And you get a whole bunch of LEDs. And it's kind of a, a, a holiday-themed version of the um, circuit stickers that we've been carrying. So they wanted to do a special edition just for the holidays. And it's great. And there's one that's a, there's a snowflake, there's a dove, and then there's a blank one that you can use as a photo frame. Okay. Next up. This is fun. This is the thing that you're playing. Why don't you play, why don't you make some noise? Okay, I will, but let's, let's show it on the overhead okay. at the same time. This is from Moog. Moog. Gee, <laughs> man. Trying to drive me crazy. <laughs> Moog. What are you doing to me? This is um, a really interesting kit that they designed for a workshop. It's called the Workstat. Um, and uh, they actually, it was so popular, they decided to make it assembled as a, a fully assembled kit. Um, I mean, you could probably build it by hand, but it, I think it's, it's nice as a kit. Uh, it's nice as like a non-kit as well. And it has basically like a panel over here, except instead of using like big uh, quarter inch jacks, you can just use um, headers. We don't have, we just got these in, so we haven't done any mods for it yet. But as I said, that's actually a really, really nice synth. Um, wait, hold on. It's loud too. Okay, it's a little annoying. Uh, so you can make really. You just press these buttons. Yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, people who like analog synths will rejoice at this, this really cool. fun kit. Um, I like this like LFO, LED. Um, yeah, you put it together by just sort of screwing all the parts together, and it comes in a very sturdy uh, yeah. bent metal case. So this is a, a quite nice synthesizer. Yeah, this is like really high quality. It is really high quality. So yeah, it's, it's not like a simple kit. It's actually a very, very nice kit, and you know, it has... Um, the keyboard buttons down here, as you can okay. kind of see. And uh, it's basically designed to be hacked. They have projects for, you know, you have the trigger and the gate and the VCO and the VCF out and in, and so you can patch in your own circuitry using a breadboard very easily. You don't have to open up and solder it. So you can basically circuit hack it without actually having to do any opening up and hacking. Okay. Um, it's a really lovely synthesizer. This is the one that we first got, we put together, and then we finally have them in stock. Uh, if you are an analog synth fan, you'll probably want one of these. And it's actually quite a nice synth on its own, even if you don't want to hack it. Okay. Okay. Next up. Ready? Yeah, turn this off. This is the Trinket compatible LED menorah. It's not a blinking Christmas tree kit. Nope. Okay. So not to be confused. Let's look at these great photos. This is from Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories, one of our favorite maker companies of all time. And uh, it's also trinket compatible. That means if you know or use a trinket, this acts and pretends and kind of looks like a trinket. 
So you want to go to the overhead or the? No? I can just just hold it up. Okay. Um, what's really neat is um, yeah, it's, it's a two PCB design, and they use this really nice stippling, so it looks like it's three dimensional, but it's actually just like a flat PCB. Yeah. It's um, PCB art, which is amazing. It's a really cool yeah. PCB art, and it has these uh, through hole NeoPixels, which lets you control the whole menorah with just an ATtiny85, and this the circuitry is hidden behind it. You don't see it because it's on in the back, and you just um, you use a USB connector to. Um, uh, power it and reprogram it if you want. It is, you know, Trinket compatible, so you can use your Arduino IDE uh, to reprogram it. And it has, um, yeah, maybe I'll go to the overhead to show the, the details. Okay. So I have to turn off this uh, light. That's nice. Okay, so I turned off the light so you can see the LEDs a little bit better. So um, you can set what light it is. This is the third night and then the fourth night. So every, every night you press the button to increase. And then um, you can press the uh, color button and so like this is like a rainbow color mode which is a little bit uh, fun but you can also do um, just fading all the colors or uh, this is just blue a Christmas themed one I, I don't know why on earth you would do this but maybe <laughs> <laughs> no it's okay this is fine uh, it's a Christmas themed LEDs um, slower Christmas themed there's like 30,000 modes here. I don't know like yeah. when they came up with this mode. Oh, blue and white themed. It's very patriotic. Um, okay. More modes. I don't know. Like basically to all the colors, you can have it like red and, and yellow yeah. and green and all the different colors. So yeah, yeah there's it's, a chart that shows everything. Yeah, I mean like then, it does the yeah. crazy amounts of stuff. Uh, I just, we just put this together. So I'm excited. Okay. Um, and it looks awesome. And this is like the nicest menorah kit I've ever seen. It is. And it's the Mega Menorah 9000. That's why. Okay. Maybe we're Next, uh, a lovely kit to build. We have the B plus protector. High protector. This is like the B A plus, plus high protector. But for but the B plus. For the B plus. Yeah, we Here's finally got all of these in. Um, it's it's a very minimalist case. It's not like our, a full case enclosure where like you know it it protects the whole thing. This is just like you want something very slim that doesn't take up a lot of space. Maybe and you can plug in hats on top, of course, and there's this nice etching for on the on the side where you can plug in a GPIO header. Um, people would like the A-plus pipe protector, so we thought we would uh, basically release a version for the B-plus as well. And this just shows you, you get two pieces of clear acrylic. You put it together, it, you know, you can have a GPIO cable plugged in, or you can remove it, although there's like 20 pins. Um, there's slots for the camera. There's a little protector here for the micro USB. Um, very easy to put together, very easy to use. I don't know, uh, if you want a super slim case, protects the board, protects the pie, protects your table, all good. And also these little, these little screws kind of act as little bumpers, which is kind of nice. Okay. Pie protector. Okay, next up, um, and I guess this is kind of a big, big deal because all of our pie cases are in. So this is the new um, pie case that we have, um, designed by Mike Dole. One of the best designers in, in the world, this is, he's industrial the best designers. He's designed all of our injection molded cases, yep. and they're and they're gorgeous. And we worked really, really hard on yeah. this case. Can I say this? We did we did the unthinkable again, and we put the designer's name on the case. Yeah, he says he actually gets a lot of spam. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I think he's. I think at first he thought like, wow, that's oh, cool. so cool. Like, he then, puts my name on stuff. This is this. Is, and now like every Kickstarter person emails yeah. him like, can you design my case? And he's like, yeah. uh, Wait, who are you? Why are you doing me? Where'd you get my name? Yeah. Um, so we have uh, a couple different options. This is the classic case. So we wanted to have one case that was just like really neutral, and so that it would go in all of our packs. Because if we had to pick one, so it's a it's a smoke gray base and a clear top, so you can see into the pie, but it's it's translucent. You can see the LEDs, but it kind of, you know, it's not like yeah. you see everything. Um, this is the classic case. If you want to just like get a case, this is kind of the one we suggest. It's We're gonna definitely stock a lot of these in particular, but if you want to get creative, we also have the cases available in multiple different colors. So... You want to start to see that now? Yeah, can you just click on the... Okay, so we've got a lot going on here. So And we'll go to the overhead real fast. Yeah. We'll, well yeah. I've got a GIF that just goes through it really fast, if you want to see. And then I have the bases as well. That came out weird. I well, I know, because it's an animated GIF. No, yeah, the animated GIF for the yeah. colors came out weird. But then we also have these other shots that I'm working on. Yeah, these are all the, the different color combos. Yeah. So we have the tops and the bases available in... Um, black. Yellow. Yellow. Orange. Orange. It's actually black. It's smoke gray. Pink. Pink. Blue, Blue, clear, clear, and green. Green. And then in the bases we have? Same. 
yellow. yellow, orange, green, blue, clear. We also have the smoke gray and pink. Yeah. Um, I'll show you on the overhead. So you, we, we have the classic case and then we have all the cases in um, multiple colors and then we'll turn on the light super bright. So this is orange and then this is like green and they're all translucent and they're like super sweet polycarbonate clear is like totally clear. Um, smoke gray, uh, kind of like yellow, lemon yellow, uh, lightish blue, teal blue, uh, hot pink, and a super nice orange, tangerine orange. And then, um, so the, the, it's basically meant for the B+. Plus. We're going to be doing a version for the A+, plus eventually, too. We just got the A-pluses in stock. Um, it snaps in very securely, and there's space for, like, a hat. You can plug in a hat inside. You can have a GPIO cable come out the side. And then the top just snaps on. So you can pick any combo that you like for the tops and bottoms. As you like, you can get the same color if you want. It's you know, up to you. Be creative. Um, and yeah, it's got all the slots you need for the micro USB and HDMI. And then you can get the micro SD card at, in and out. It holds it securely. Um, and it's a nice polycarbonate case, so it's extremely strong. Um, this is also known as like bulletproof plastic. Um, I wouldn't shoot this with a gun, but it's, it is quite strong and uh, will last a very long time. Definitely stronger than the acrylic cases we have. Uh, it just takes a lot longer to get a polycarbonate case design. Like this has been three yeah. or four months in the making. It takes, a, it takes quite a while um, to get these going. And you can have like multiple cases um, with tops and bottoms and like swap them out as needed. Um, I actually just have a lot of pies that I'm working on all the time, like with different projects. And so this will actually will let me differentiate which one is which because I can't keep them straight. Um, and then I'll just show off like some of the other bottoms. We have like the green translucent and here's the yellow one. So you can kind of go like tangerine look, or citrus themed with orange and yellow. Yeah, and if someone said... So yeah, um, usually nice you can only get one color of each, but we decided to, to go with like, you can get um, tops and bottoms, any color combo, and mix and match them. And we'll probably also add a couple more colors. This is just like our first run of, uh, of getting them into the store, so. Nice snap to snap. Yeah. Okay, all right, well guess what, Lady? Nice That's snap it. case, yeah. That's it. Okay, that was new products, good work.